But I wrote the article uh, because one of the main substantive objections to the Nashville statement from those who oppose the PCA declaring it to be faithful and recommending it. Um, <clears throat> one of the main substantive objections in terms of content, there was a lot of different objections to, to doing it. Um, some, you know, philosophy of ministry oriented, but uh, in terms of the actual content of the Nashville statement, the, the main objection was with Article 7, which is uh, particularly the, so yeah. the Nashville statement is set up as a series of affirmations and denials. Each article has a, as an affirmation and then a denial. So it's, it's particularly the denial of Article 7 that um, is really responsible in many ways for the generation of revoice at the conference. So Article 7's denial reads, uh, <clears throat> we deny that adopting a homosexual transgendered self-conception is consistent with God's holy purposes in creation and redemption. Right. So um, as, I, as I pondered objections to that, um, my mind trained by Westminster systematicians who love John Murray and uh, definitive sanctification um, naturally went to uh, Romans 6 uh, as, as a place to try to think about why this, this is actually a biblically faithful uh, statement. 